Hey yo, what is up guys? It is me, DPX here. Welcome back to another review. Today I'm reviewing Home Sweet Home Alone. A reboot sequel to the first two Home Alone movies. Uh, now that Disney owns Home Alone, it's a bit of a different take on it as well. Kind of. You'll see what I mean by different take. But uh, what do I think of it? Well, let's get started. But before you do that, you know what to do. Check this out, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment. Or I'll strand you on an island. Home Sweet Home Alone is... Basically, if Disney made the Home Alone movie in uh, in modern day. Now, to give um, a bit of context here, I'm a huge fan of Home Alone. The first two films specifically, I think everyone who likes Home Alone usually talks about the first two films specifically. And every Christmas I watch the two Home Alone films. It's like a thing I do with my family every Christmas. So, I have a lot of uh, love for the first two Home Alone films. The third one is a bit of a guilty pleasure. I, it's bad, but I would be lying if I told you that I didn't find any enjoyment out of it. The fourth and fifth one are fucking terrible. But, how is this? Well, it's not as bad as four and five. That's not saying much. This movie was not good. I do want to say one thing. The cast is likable. You know, uh, there's some overacting there, but I guess it's a kid's movie, they're trying to make the kids laugh, so whatever, I, I think it's like they know what type of movie they're in. And also, it's something different, the kid isn't really the main character here, uh, it's more the two burglars, who really aren't burglars, they're just, um, you know, a husband and a wife that are trying to provide for their family, so they see that a missing doll in their house that is worth a lot of money is stolen and they think that the kid who gets uh, left home alone is he stole the doll and um yeah that's basically the plot also the kid gets left home alone now i um uh, i give them props for trying to do something different with the home alone formula you know it, it's like you know the first two films this whole formula worked and then after that, it started to started to get a little like it just becomes the same thing over and over again. Like th th Home Alone three, the, the like the kid isn't even like Home Alone really, you know. Or in the fourth one, he's not Home Alone uh, Home Alone at all, you know. So yeah, and but like this movie is not good because it does something different with the Home Alone shit. You know, it tries to, you know, what if it's the, um, the, the, just two people that aren't even really burglars, they're just trying to get some doll back that's worth a lot of money so they can sell it. What if they're trying to, uh, just get the doll back and they're not really trying to kill a kid? But there's still, like, the classic Home Alone stuff in there, you know, like, the mom trying to get back to, uh, her son. And it's like, it's sort of like thrown in there, almost as like a side plot, you know? And like, when the booby traps are happening, you know, when the kid is, uh, setting booby traps and the husband and wife are, like, getting set through them, you kind of feel bad for the husband and wife, you know? It's not like, in the first two Home Alone films, like, Marv and Harry, they were, like, actually trying to kill this kid and steal all their shit, all his shit, right? So therefore, like their comeuppance is the booby traps here these husband the husband and wife don't really deserve to get their ass whooped but at the same time they do because here's i'm gonna spoil it here but do you care really here is how the husband i don't remember their names by the way but uh here's how the husband uh figures out that the kid stole the doll so basically the kid was at their was at the house that they were selling right and he looked at a doll asked about the doll and then later on he realized the the husband realized that the doll was missing and looked on ebay for the doll and saw that it was last sold for um a crazy amount of money so he puts two and two together not only does he find out that or not only does he put two and two together and figure out that the kid stole the doll but he figures out that the doll's worth a lot of money 
Here's the thing, it's said that the doll was fucking sold. Even if he did take the doll, he doesn't have it anymore. And they gloss over it a lot, and, you know, and then later on it's revealed the doll was never sold, whatever the fuck. But then, it's like, I don't know, there's also a bunch of just dumb humor in this movie. This movie did not make me laugh. There's one, there's one moment that made me chuckle, uh... It was with, uh, I want to really explain it, just, if you watch this movie, maybe you'll know what it is, uh, but like, you know, there's a bunch, there's like fart humor, there's a fart joke in this movie, what, come on, and then, then there's like, uh, like, within two minutes of this movie, one of the characters, who's like an older, like, 40 year old mom, says lit, and then like, uh, ten minutes later, they say the word lit again, and then there's a scene where like a family is watching Angels with Filthy Souls, you know, that movie within the movie where it's like, and if you don't leave in the count of ten, I'm gonna, you know, that. It's like, it's a cool little like throwback, you know, because they're watching a, like a sci-fi reboot of it, and then one of the characters just fucking goes, man, reboots are never good as the classics. It's like, fuck off, fuck off with that. Really, you're not slick. So this movie's really messy. It, it has a different type of ending with the message and sort of the premise sort of being there. So, um, sorry, don't worry about what I'm doing. That's why it sort of feels a bit messy, just cause they're trying to tell a different story, but also trying to tell the same story. You know, it's not about the kid being left home alone, really. It really isn't. We follow the husband and wife a lot more than we do the kid, you know? So to the point where, again, it feels like the kid being left home alone is, like, secondary to the husband and wife trying to get back this fucking doll. So yeah, I didn't like this movie. It's not the worst movie I've seen this year. Um, far from it. There are some moments where, like, the the... Booby traps, you know, all that stuff, maybe a little over the top, a lot less realistic than, um, than the first two, and the more and more we see this, the more it's like, the more you question, like, n there's no way you set all this up this quickly. But, like, so the booby traps, like, you know, make less sense, uh, but th th that's probably the most entertaining part of the movie, I will admit that... I was having fun, uh, watching that, um, but then, uh, yeah, other than that, there wasn't much really going for this movie, uh, in the end, I give Home Sweet Home Alone a, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10, yeah, this wasn't good, but yeah, that's my, uh, thoughts on Home Sweet Home Alone, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? And if you haven't seen it, do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? Anything about the movie, let me know down below. Anyways, be sure to like this video, come subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!